When you're looking up flags on this rather marvellous thing called the internet, you may have seen these rather small symbols and wondered what do they mean? Well fret not, because I, Mr P, am here to save the day. To open up the dark arts of these vexillological symbols, which were designed by vexillologist Whitney Smith and adopted by the International Federation of Vexillological Associations in the early 1970s. And in today's world, some of you may have seen these on, say, Wikipedia pages. Two editions were added in the 1990s by Jelko Heimer. Now there's much to get through, so to make things a little easier, probably for the both of us, I'll make sure that I have examples to explain. We'll start with an easy one. This simply states that the flag you're looking at is what it should look like to the observer when it's flying. For example, the Norway and New Zealand flags would have this symbol to show what they look like up a flagpole when the hoist or the flagpole is to the left. This states that the reverse side of the flag has a different design to that on the front. For example, the flag of Paraguay. On the front they have the coat of arms of Paraguay. The reverse has the seal of the treasury. Or the US state flag of Oregon with the usual blue bedsheet style with the state seal on the observed side and a beaver on the reverse side. And while we're looking at the reverse of a flag, you may have seen this symbol, which means that you're looking at, well, the, the reverse of the flag. While doing research on such matters, you may find this symbol shows that a design was proposed, but eventually not used. This Mountbatten suggestion flag of India is a prime example. Lucky escape there, I think. Or this Nordic style offering for Estonia in 2019. There's one for Andy for Flagged for Content podcast. What's up, Vexheads? Some flags are that ancient to the point where designs are born out of what we know as opposed to finding actual representations, so a reconstruction has to be made. Like this Mamluk Sultanate design, which was around between the 13th and 16th centuries in the areas of Egypt and Saudi Arabia. Or this flag of Ziongu in the Mongolian area that was around between 9 and 93 CE. If you're wondering, it's a dragon, not a crocodile, eating, I don't know, a yellow leaf. Sometimes an alternative flag is used either deliberately, like the flag of France between 1974 to 2020, which used slightly lighter, brighter shades partly to match the blue flag of Europe, or by accident, like this version of the Utah flag that was used for almost 100 years before someone spotted the error and made official changes in 2011. This next one I need to thank fellow vexillologist Zachary Harden as it did stump me a little. The description of the symbol is one of several alternative versions of a flag that can be displayed. The example of this is El Salvador where the national flag can sit alongside the similar flag where the coat of arms is replaced by the national motto which translates to God, Union, Liberty. A de facto flag is one that is widely accepted and used but not necessarily official in any way. Take the flag of Antarctica with its compass point on a simple landscape background. When the observer or front of the flag is shown but the flagpole is to the right then you'll see this flipped version of the first symbol that we saw. That's because countries such as Saudi Arabia officially have their fly end to the left, so the writing of the Shahada reads in the right direction, that is from right to left, away from the flagpole. Iraq follows this rule for exactly the same reason. This O within an O means that a symbol which has been authorised to represent the nation, which is different to the symbol used on the observe of a flag, most likely the reverse. Stay with me on this one. An example is the old style of Lithuania, which on the front had this rearing horse with a knight, while on the back they had this weird W symbol, which apparently harks back to the Gedimanis family banner. Now this is fairly straightforward, this one. It's a flag that was used in the past but is now no longer in use, like this plain Libyan flag or this what looks like a faded tricolour of the first flag of Chile used in the early 1800s. This symbol shows you that you should subscribe to the channel so that you can be safe in the knowledge that you won't miss out of any future videos. Sorry, not, not sure how that one got there. It's very evident that that's not a vexillological symbol. Anyway, back to the subject in matter. And now three symbols all relating to the design on the reverse of the flag. First is the one which simply states that the design on the back is a reverse of the front. Almost as if you can see through it like South Africa and Poland. Actually Poland isn't a great example of this because there's nothing to compare both sides with. But technically 
It's correct. This image means the opposite, quite literally, as in the observe and the reverse look exactly the same, such as Croatia and Brazil. The only difference is where the flagpole sits. And finally, for this trio of reverse symbols, is this. To be fair, it does what it says now that you've seen the other two, in that there is currently no available information regarding the reverse being the same or different to the observe. And now the vertical versions, some of my favourites. The easiest way to hang a flag is to rotate it 90 degrees, which is what this is telling us. So, such as these two united flags, one of the Arab Emirates, the other the Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. This states that while the flag needs to be rotated 90 degrees, it also needs to be flipped to show the reverse, which is the rule for another united country, this time of the States of America and Zambia, for example. The reason for this is to keep the canton in the top left-hand corner. As with the reverse symbol, the question mark is the same, where no official details dictate how the flag should be hung vertically. When I've been doing research for the flag of Amman to be flown vertically, I've seen it pretty much in every way, rotated, flipped, and some show the national emblem rotated to stay upright, and that's where our next symbol comes from. This empty vertical symbol shows that whatever emblem is on the flag when hung vertically, it should always stay upright. Cambodia does this, as well as slightly widen the red central bar, and Andorra rotates the coat of arms. To finish the vertical symbols, we have this, which states that the flag should only be hung vertically, like this Native American flag of Arapahoe. This is a flag that is not authorised to represent a group or country, for example, and controversially, the flag of Western Sahara. While widely used in the area to represent various annexed regions, the official flag to fly is that of Morocco, but I won't go into the politics of that one. I hope this has uncovered some of the mystery behind these symbols, and sitting alongside these symbols, you may have also seen this odd crazy game of noughts and crosses, where the person who is playing noughts doesn't let the person who is crosses ever play. If you want to find out what this means and who wins, you'll need this video over here. Spoilers, it's noughts.